Your time is coming and the universe is preparing you. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get into a channeled message today about preparing for what is coming for you, how you can prepare, and to really be easy on yourself here, all right? A strong thing that's coming through with this energy right now is you need to be more gentle with yourself because of the programming in the society that we grow up in. There's so much belief around, you know, exerting a lot of energy and force to get to where we need to go or we feel like we need to go when really we're ignoring our own internal energetics and we're exerting more than we need to because it's more about the alignment with the goals that will get us to the goals. That comes from the internal work more so than us, you know, being like, doing all of this stuff outside of us and trying to be more ready than we are. And so I'm gonna get into this message today about how to prepare for what's coming for you. If you don't know me already, my name is Grace Moralia. I specialize in trauma healing facilitation, helping people heal their inner child and inner blocks that prevent them from being deeply connected to themselves. This is deep work on a soul level that I guide my clients through and so that they can connect to their highest self and purpose. If you're interested in my services, check the link below. I'm offering 30 minute free consultation calls for people who are interested. And also like and subscribe if you like my energy. Okay, let's get into it. So preparing for what is coming. I want you to sit with yourself first and notice everything that you have done in your life up to this point. And I want you to begin acknowledging yourself for all of the growth and healing that you have done this far, okay? Even if you feel like you have not done that much or you don't have that many external results for everything that you do on a daily basis, I want you to notice that it's not easy to be a human in this experience in the first place. And so when you're hard on yourself and you have this attitude of self-criticism that most people deal with in the society, what you're doing is you're going against your own growth in the most productive way because I believe that the most productive way that we can grow is by loving ourselves through the changes that we want to see in our lives. So for example, let's say you want to be a millionaire. Okay, don't we all, right? But let's say that you are trying to force yourself to work, to do more in business or your job, to earn more and more and more, and it's never enough. You never feel enough. You striving and striving and striving is pointing at this deeper wound of not feeling good enough as you are, which is the core root of the problem. When we face the unworthiness wound, the inner block that says, I can't do it, I always have to do more, I always have to be more, then we're able to create the space for more to come in. If you don't have love and compassion for your beautiful body and self, and you are just hard on yourself, how do you expect to get in alignment with where you really want to go in your life? Because I have so many clients, and I used to be this way too. I have so many clients come to me, I'll tell you a story. And they'll be like, well, I've been, you know, I, I mean, it, really they're saying that they have a harsh internal voice that is guiding their decisions and is saying, do more, do more, be more, be more. And it gets them out of alignment with their true self. Because if you notice that when you have a self-criticizing voice or something that feels unworthy within you, or shameful within you, that's not who you are. I want you to get curious about these inner voices. Who, who does this unworthiness voice sound like? Is that, is that in resonance with you? Like it clear right now. The voice you have within that is holding you back and is saying, I'm not good enough, or I always have to exert more energy, or it's never enough. Who, who does that sound like? Is that really you? Is that really you? Because I guarantee that it's not. I know for a 100% fact that it's not. So who is it? Who does it sound like? Okay, if for you to become who you're meant to be, I want you to focus on the internal world. This is how you're gonna be able to prepare for your life, for the blessings. Because you're not gonna be able to open to receive the blessings unless you go within. So what is still blocking you and saying, you have to do more, you have to be more, I'm not good enough as I am. 
hone in on that part of you. All right, this is a collective wound. We really all have very similar collective wounds. I call them the core four, if you've heard me in the other videos. It's shame, people pleasing, unworthiness, fear of abandonment. Those are the ones that I see the most, right? Fear of being seen is also there, but um, those are the ones I see after working with a thousand plus people uh, online and in person and we're healing myself. So when we hone in on, okay, this unworthiness wound makes me feel like I have to exert all of this energy and exhaust myself. Okay. Well, that's already rooted in fear. So you're taking action from this unworthy space. And I do it too. Like I am not a perfect being. I have unworthiness things that I deal with all the time because I grew up in a household that felt very scarcity mindset. Even though my father did have money and my mother didn't, my father would be like, he still is has the scarcity mindset and it bled into me and made me feel like I have to work so hard to achieve things and I still feel that way. I'm really working on rewiring it and I have been for a long time. You know, I've been on this path for eight and a half years, but it still bogs me down and it makes me feel like I'm not doing enough and I'm not being enough and what if people don't receive me right or what if my clients don't resonate with me or what if I'm too young or what if this what if that and it's always something and it all leads back to my childhood and I see and feel that because my child doesn't want to be a failure my soul doesn't want to be a failure so it's exerting all of this energy to prove itself worthy just so it's not a failure, but it's keeping me in a vibration of scarcity and unworthiness. When my soul knows on a, on a true level that I am worthy, I do have what it takes, I am good enough, I am seen, I am loved, I am heard. And so it's about anchoring into this version of me that knows all of that and working with all the other energetics that block me and releasing those working to clear the space for miracles to come down so that the universe can provide the miracles. The universe wants to bring you miracles because that's you, who you are. You are the universe. You are a miracle. You are love. And so when we decondition ourselves away from exerting all this energy and not feeling good enough and feeling fearing abandonment and feeling shameful and having people pleasing and all of these core wounds, which is what I go deeply into healing in my hybrid illumination course, I'm coaching you one-on-one -on -one and also give you the tools to heal shame, people pleasing all of your core wounds and tangible tools that you can use yourself. And I also hold space for you to release these core wounds in a deeply transformative way. So if you're interested in that, uh, book a 30 minute consultation call with me and I will share it with you and see if it is your next best step. Yes, so look forward to talking with you guys. And if you like so this so far, definitely go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I also have a $22 masterclass below that you can heal some of your core traumas and get into it and see kind of how I work and align to your highest self in that offering as well with journal prompts and things like that. So um, that's all linked below. Now, when we do deeper inner healing work, that's what we're doing is we're releasing the masks that keep us first of all out of our true selves, but second of all, keep us on the path of our highest evolution and really help us see like, I do not have to be this thing I'm not anymore. I can actually make space for growth. I can, I can be my most embodied version beyond the societal norms, beyond the programs, beyond the conditionings. And so then you can make space for what's coming because you're on the path of ascension, of becoming who you are and healing. This is a process, but it is also a choice. So, you get to choose who you are. You aren't your traumas. You can choose to make space for love. You can choose to make space for miracles. And you'll see that as you keep doing the healing work that more and more you will be refined into a person that can receive what the universe wants to bring you. And sometimes we really do need that support so that you know that you're not alone in the process. You know, it is important to feel seen because this path is very lonely. I know firsthand, I know how lonely it is. But you are more 
the mess and you deserve that support, which is why I'm here and love guiding my clients back home to themselves so that they can find that personal power beyond the traumas of the past. And a lot of the stuff that is keeping you in these patterns, you guys, is generational and past life stuff. So to become and to receive what the universe is, get, is wanting to bring you, you need to create the energetic space. That's the most important part. Create the space for the energies to land. If you don't have space for them, energetically in your field, in your body, they can't land. So that's why going in and pulling the weeds out of your own consciousness, make space to receive, make space to receive who you are and what the universe wants to bring, okay? So something tangible I want you to do is notice in your life, where do you feel like you are still holding unworthiness? Where is this unworthiness still blocking you in your life? How is it blocking you? And then start to get curious about your own consciousness. Like what is happening here? And if you want to clear the core root of it for good and really do the deeper healing work, check out the course illumination below and get on a free uh, discovery call with me and I can support you through this in a deeper transformative way. So you aren't alone. Make space for more. Let the universe support you and take your time in becoming who you're meant to be because it will take time. But we surrender into this and trust the process, okay? So hopefully this is helpful. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Have a beautiful day.